In this video, we will be demonstrating the bomb calorimeter, the TD500. This is an oxygen bomb fuel calorimeter with a hands-on investigation of calorific value, i.e. energy released, from burning different solid or liquid fuels. This is done within a safe, student-friendly, contained apparatus with the objective of providing a controlled environment to accurately test fuels for a greater understanding of how fuel thermal energy is tested. By following the procedure of first standardising the equipment using a certified test fuel, students can then carry out the experiments in the user guide to accurately measure temperature rise within the vessel to calculate against the thermal capacity in order to find the fuel's calorific value. Let's take a closer look around the apparatus, starting with the control box, which houses the stirrer motor and the ignition unit. Sitting on top of the control box is the metal outer thermal insulating jacket, which is filled with 13 litres of water to insulate from any external thermal effects like the ambient temperature of the room and sunlight, etc. Within the jacket is the bomb vessel, a separate metal container which holds a specific amount of water to conduct the heat of the bomb. At the base of this is a mount made from tough metal that has the firing mechanism attached. This cable connects to the firing mechanism to the control base unit via these sockets. Now to look at the bomb with two main parts. There's the base and the body. On the base, the brass button touches and clicks into place with the main firing mechanism at the bottom of the bomb vessel. At the top of the body of the bomb is an oxygen valve in the center and the exhaust valve just to the side. Now to the heart of the apparatus. The crucible here is made from vitrosol and is loaded with a precise amount of fuel. Ignition wire is fitted across the fuel to make contact and is passed through the slots in the terminals and locks into place with this sliding nut. Before closing the bomb, a small amount of water is added to the base to saturate the environment, avoiding the need to consider vaporization, giving more accurate fuel calorific values. With the two parts screwed together, the bomb is charged with oxygen, then placed into the bomb vessel, and the top board with a stirrer mechanism is positioned and screwed on. The stirrer mixes the water within the bomb vessel to balance the temperature throughout to avoid hot and cold spots. For a stable, accurate spot measurement of temperature that is calculated into calorific value, Finally, this precision thermocouple that slides into the water within the bomb vessel through the top board clips into place using this bracket. By using the bomb calorimeter, students can gain a deeper appreciation for the calorific value of fuels and understand the process involved in obtaining this data by learning how oxygen charged bomb calorimeters work. Used in conjunction with a small engine test bed and the gas calorimeter, engineering students can gain an understanding of a range of elements such as relationship between fuel calorific value, engine performance characteristics and influencing variables, along with losses, allowing them to accurately control the energy put into the system, measure work done and calculate total losses. In the real world, bomb calorimeters are used in animal feed research and analysis from fuel, explosives, oil, waste, food, cement manufacturing, marine biology, and even olive mills. This is one of many engineering teaching apparatus available from Tech Equipment's thermodynamics range. For more information about the bomb calorimeter, click on the links. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Tech Equipment YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.